Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show how to calculate the basin length. The basin length is defined as the surface area of a catchment divided by the longest path, the longest flow path to the outlet. This video assumes that you have already followed the steps to derive your catchment and streams. You can see that in other videos on this channel. To calculate the longest flow path, we need to calculate the distances from each pixel to the outlet. And there's a tool in the PC Raster Tools plugin, which is called LDD Dist. And it needs some info that we need to create first. So the cells to which the distance is calculated in Boolean, that's the outlet, and a friction layer, which we set to 1 to count each pixel as a distance. When we have derived the catchment, we use the nominal as the data type for the outlet, so we need to convert it to Boolean because that is needed for the LDD disk tool. I use convert layer data type, choose outlet as input, and the output data type Boolean. Let's save it as outlet Boolean. Now the problem is that that outlet layer only has a value 1 and doesn't have zeros. For LDD dist you also need zeros. So I'm going to create a layer with only zeros, boolean data type, and I call it boolean zero. And this results in a raster with only uh, the zeros. And now I can use the cover tool to combine it with the outlet, which has only value 1. So one pixel with value 1 from the outlet. So I choose here outlet boolean. Then I choose to cover the no data values with the boolean 0. So all the no data values will be changed to boolean 0. And I call this outlet 1, 0. And this should result in a layer with zeros and ones. Let's uh, just check that by styling. It's always good practice to uh, style and check the results, see if that's what's expected. Because it's just one value uh, of one, the outlet, uh, we have to zoom into the outlet to check that. So we have there our original outlet and here we have the zero one layer. So that looks good. And with that, we can uh, proceed to the next step. So we also need a friction layer and we need a raster with only scalar values 1 for that. And if we use value 1 for the friction, uh, then we have the distances in map units. Let's call it friction. And here we have our raster with only value 1 in scalar data type. So now we have all the inputs to calculate the distance from each cell to the outlet with the LDD disk tool. I choose flow direction as the LDD layer, outlet 1, 0 as um, the cell to which the distance has to be calculated, and the friction, and I call the output distance. There's the result, let's uh, check it. So we see that the distance is calculated for uh, the catchment. And let's style it. Just a simple uh, color ramp. And that looks good. So we can proceed with this. But now I want to know the maximum distance in this map. And therefore I can use the map maximum tool from the PC Raster Tools plugin. I use distance as an input. And uh, I call the output max distance. So with these uh, map tools, the tools that start with the name map, it will calculate something based on all the pixels. So that's a global operation and each cell in the output has that value that is calculated. So in this case, the maximum distance in the catchment is that amount. Now I also need the area of the catchment in map units. So I have this uh, catchment map that we derived when we did the catchment delineation. And um, 
these are two classes with uh, zero and with uh, one and I can use them from the area operations the area area tool to calculate the surface area of each class so I use catchment as an input which has these two classes and I call the output catch area and there's the output let's uh, have a closer look at it there's just uh, two values in it so I can use uh, palette unique values and there we see that all the blue pixels have that uh, value for the surface area and now we can use the raster calculator to uh, calculate the basin length which is defined as the surface area of the basin so I use catch area divided by the maximum flow path so the max distance I can use it on the fly layer if I'm just interested in the value so I call it basin length and there's the result and we can also style it we are not expecting many values so we see here that the red pixels have a value of uh, around 10.5 uh, kilometers which is the basin length in this case so in this video you've learned to calculate the basin length uh, using the PC raster tools and um, I hope it was useful for you and if you like these videos please subscribe.